So, like I've talked about in the past, I felt Chicago I absolutely hit a home run by drafting Justin Fields. Justin Fields is exactly what the Chicago Bears organization has needed at the quarterback position for years. I think Justin Fields should be excited about his opportunity in the NFL because I think that he landed in a pretty good situation. Chicago has a pretty good roster. You know, in the next couple of years, I could see them potentially being a Super Bowl contender if the roster gets younger and the offensive line is improved. I think the fan base should be ecstatic. I believe Ryan Pace, the GM, should be should be excited about getting his hands on Justin Fields and drafting him. But the one other person that really should be happy is this guy, Matt Nagy, the Chicago Bears' current head coach. Matt Nagy has finally found an elite quarterback talent in Justin Fields. He's got his guy. And Matt Nagy and Justin Fields will change the minds of a lot of people observing the National Football League. Okay, because here's the thing. Folks, the NFL is a quarterback-driven league, okay? Seriously, I truly believe we are in the golden age of quarterbacks. Quarterbacks have never been better. You want to know why I say that? I say that because Ben Roethlisberger is not even one of the five best quarterbacks of his era. And do you guys realize Ben Roethlisberger is a two-time Super Bowl champion, is going to throw for over 60,000 passing yards, have over 400 touchdowns when his career is over. I mean, the guy is a first battle Hall of Famer, one of the best, one of the most accomplished quarterbacks in recent memory. And he's not even one of the five best quarterbacks of his era. I would put Ben Roethlisberger behind Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson, and honestly, probably Patrick Mahomes. So that's how good the quarterback is right now. To, that's how good the quarterback position is is right now today. And here's the thing. Even some of the best head coaches in the NFL would not be where they are today if it were not for star quarterbacks. For example, Andy Reid. Andy Reid did not win a Super Bowl for over two decades until he got his hands on Patrick Mahomes. Andy Reid went 21 years without winning a Super Bowl and he finally got Patrick Mahomes, boom, he wins a Super Bowl. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick was below 500 as the head coach with the Cleveland Browns, even with Bledsoe as his quarterback. Drew Bledsoe as his quarterback. He wasn't quite getting it done in New England. And Tom Brady comes in, the rest is history for Bill Belichick. A 20-year dynasty with the Patriots. Even John Harbaugh. John Harbaugh and the Ravens, were at a crossroads a couple of years ago. People were thinking about John Harbaugh potentially being on the hot seat, but Lamar Jackson comes in, he secures John Harbaugh's job, okay? And rightfully so, because John Harbaugh, he was getting unfairly criticized because at the time, Joe Flacco was thinking of the joint. It wasn't John Harbaugh's fault. He just didn't have a great quarterback. Justin Fields will save Matt Nagy's job in Chicago. And... I have no problem with that because I think Matt Nagy is definitely a capable head coach in the NFL. For example, Matt Nagy has a better winning percentage than Ron Rivera and Kyle Shanahan. Okay, and people rave about Ron Rivera. People rave about Kyle Shanahan. But Kyle Shanahan is below 500 for his career. Ron Rivera has never had back-to-back winning seasons. Matt Nagy has a better winning percentage than both of them. Okay? Do you guys realize that two of the last three years, Matt Nagy and the Chicago Bears have made the playoffs with Mitchell Trubisky as their starting quarterback in a division with Aaron Rodgers? Over the past three years, the Chicago Bears have made the playoffs twice with Mitchell Trubisky. Trubisky's not good. He stinks as a starting quarterback. He's not a franchise quarterback. He's one of the worst starting quarterbacks in the NFL. And in a division with Aaron Rodgers, Matt Nagy got the Bears to the playoffs. If that's not a good head coach, I don't know what is. Okay, I truly believe that Matt Nagy got his guy. And we're really going to see how great of a head coach 
Matt Nagy is from this point going forward because he now has a legitimate quarterback in Justin Fields that will make his job a whole lot easier. Okay? And I think Matt Nagy and the Bears' future is pretty bright. And Matt Nagy and Justin Fields will change the minds of a lot of people. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.